In tonight's news brief, we take a look at some of the top headlines throughout the week. Stay with us for all of the details. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. The week started off on a hectic note on a Monday when Facebook went down globally for several hours, bringing a flood of users to alternate platforms such as Twitter. Service was eventually restored, but not before the Facebook stock took a big hit. On Tuesday, Vicksburg Mayor George Flags Jr. announced the appointment of attorney Tiffany R. Pendleton as his new chief of staff. Pendleton will serve to replace Sam Andrews, who is leaving the local administration to work in Governor Tate Reeves' office. Vicksburg Police Chief Penny Jones sat down with the community on Wednesday over coffee to answer questions and discuss concerns of the citizens. Today was great. Uh, we had an opportunity to answer the questions that they were concerned about. Alvin Mayfield and Alvin Monsu, I would definitely hope that they see what the people are concerned about and are able to address some of the issues. Later in the week, Vicksburg celebrated one of its own, Brandy Ray Tony, or Bray, as she prefers. Doctors once said Bray would not live past the age of two due to a rare neuromuscular disorder. On Thursday, she celebrated her 30th birthday. A new animal shelter was approved by the Board of Mayor and Alderman on Friday. The top of the line facility is expected to cost close to $1 million. The 10,000 square foot facility will be able to house many more animals and meet all the qualifiers animal advocates had proposed for the community. And earlier today, the 33rd annual Over the River Run took place in Vicksburg. Runners and walkers lined up to take part in a five-mile scenic course which leads participants across the Mississippi River to Delta, Louisiana and back again. This year's runner, Caleb Hammonds, won his first place. Hammonds came to participate from Brandon, Mississippi and has participated in the run several times. Come throw some axes. Have a drink with some friends. Get in on the action. We, we have fun friends. The St. Aloysius Flashes ended their winning streak after a tough 38-8 loss against Kapai on Friday. Kapai easily took a 38-0 halftime lead as the Flashes failed to get into the end zone offensively. In the second half, St. Al grabbed a defensive touchdown as Thomas Dow took a 75-yard fumble recovery home for the score. Warren Central High School suffered their third straight loss on Friday as they fell to Northwest Rankin 30-20. The first half was crucial for Vikings. The Cougars managed to keep gaining access to the end zone and took a 27-7 halftime lead, and although Warren Central continued to make a second-half comeback, it wasn't enough to pull off the win. Porter's Chapel Academy football team gave the homecoming crowd a show on Friday by beating the Prentice Christian 49-36. The Eagles punished Prentice heavily in the first half, taking a 34-8 halftime lead. Prentice seemed to pick up the pace a bit in the second half, but the Eagles were able to find the end zone a couple more times before walking out with the win. Now taking a look at our Vicksburg weather, we see our Sunday with a high around 90, mostly sunny skies and a low around 66 with a 50% chance of rain. Monday will kick off the work week with a high around 87, a 30% chance of rain and partly cloudy skies. Low is going to be around 70, while on Tuesday we see a high around 88, partly cloudy, a 20% chance of rain and a low around 69. As for birthdays today, we want to wish you all a happy birthday, even if you haven't had a birthday today. If you got one tomorrow, if you got one yesterday, happy birthday to you from all of us here at Vicksburg Daily News. And that's going to wrap it up for this edition of your Vicksburg Daily News Brief. Thank you for listening.